OK, let's use our circular flow model to see how the inclusion of imports and exports affects total spending, output and income in this economy. Exports, which we denote with the letter X, are goods and services that are produced within the country but sold to the rest of the world. Now, spending on goods we export therefore comes from the rest of the world, the foreign sector, and for this reason we refer to it as an injection into our circular flow of spending, output and income. This injection of income is of immense value to any country. So far, we've identified internal flows of income in our goods market, between firms, households and the government. But even with the help of the multiplier, there's a limit to the amount of income we can generate on our own within this market. There are a finite number of consumers and investors. But if we can open the model to the rest of the world, firms can start to attract spending from the foreign sector. Firms and households from every other open economy in the world. Adding exports to our model requires our firms to employ more factors of production, generating more income for our households, allowing them to increase the consumer spending and once again sparking the multiplier into action. So, where we left off, total spending was made up of consumption spending plus investment spending and also government spending. Injecting exports into our flow, total spending now equals C plus I plus G plus export spending X. So, now that we've brought exports into our model, what about imports? Imports, represented by the letter Z, are goods produced by the rest of the world and purchased locally by us. They could be consumer goods, as well as capital and intermediate goods, such as machinery or equipment. And since part of our spending now goes on goods produced by other countries, imports represent a leakage from our circular flow of spending, output and income. As we've seen, some imports, like fuel, are essential because we cannot produce enough locally. But what about the importing of goods and services, for which there are locally produced alternatives? Well, if we spend more on imports, it implies that we're spending less on goods and services produced by our firms. In terms of our flow, consumption spending has declined, output and income decrease, and our circular flow of income contracts. Adding imports to our model indicates that total spending now equals C plus I plus G plus X minus imports, Z. That's the leakage from our circular flow. So, as a general rule, we can state that if exports increase while imports stay the same, then aggregate spending, output and income will increase. But if, on the other hand, imports increase while exports stay the same, then the level aggregate spending, income and output will fall in our economy.